So we are still talking about superposition principle. The, here is our next question. So uh, this question is saying, where would you put a positive charge of uh, positive one microcoulomb in the diagram below so that the net electrostatic force is zero? What it means there is that uh, our net force is zero. Okay. So if the net force is zero, meaning that uh, um, the force that the one coulomb charge is acted due to uh, to charge two micro coulomb is going to be the same as the force which is going to be there for charge a for charge one uh, coulomb due to charge five so what we are going to do here is uh, first we know that we have first to find the um, the electric force of uh, the mic for this for the one and the two at the same time this and this then we see what we are going to have. Now, as we can see here, if we are to use this free body diagram, this is what we are going to have. As simple as that. We have got, we are going to have the first one. If I have one micro, one micro coulomb and two micro coulomb, these are both positive. What do you expect? They are going to do what? They are going to repel, and we are going to have uh, the this charge is going to be repelled. So it's going to move in this direction. Now, in that direction, that's where we're going to have, um, we're going to have, um, in that direction, that's where we're going to have the force of charge what? Of charge 2, of charge A due to charge uh, 2. So it's going to be 2, 1. Okay. Then next, we're going to have what? We're going to have the one for, uh, uh, the one for 1 microcoulomb and 5. They are both positive. What do you expect one to, to be? It's going to, to be to be repelled. Okay? So this is going to be the force of uh, uh, 1 due to charge 5. So it's going to be 5, 1. Okay? Now we can find the force. So we're going to have, let's start with this. Okay? This is what we're going to have. So if that is what we have, then what else are we going to have? We are going to have this. We are going to have um, this is going to be K. Then you are going to have the Q for one micro coulomb. Again, the Q for the charge for the two the the two micro coulomb. Everything divided by. But in this case, what is our what is our R? Our R is X. So I'm going to put X squared here. Okay. Let's plug in the values. We're going to have 2, 1. This is 9 times 10 raised to the power 9. Then Q is 1 times 10 raised to the power negative 6. I'm changing it from micro coulomb to coulomb times 10 raised to the power negative 10. Then again, next we have 2 times 10 raised to the power negative 10, 6. Everything divided by x squared. Okay. What else are we supposed to do? Let's get our calculator. We see what we're going to have. 9 uh, exponent 9 times 1 exponent um, 1 exponent what? exponent neg 6 then we have also times 2 exponent neg 6 on top there I'm getting 1.018 so I'm going to have f of 2 1 is going to be equal to 0 0.018 everything divided by x squared Allow me to get rid of this. Okay. So I'm going to put it here. I'm going to say my f of 2, 1 is going to be equal to 0 0.018. Everything divided by x squared. Okay. Now next, let's do f of 5, 1. The force which is going to be there on charge on uh, the first charge due to the 5, 1. So we're going to have f51 is going to be equal to now this part here what we need to remember is that it was going it was being repelled okay so if it was being repelled meaning that we expect this to be negative because it was going toward negative x axis okay so this is going to be negative this is going to be negative next we're going to have this q1 then q5 
everything divided by the r is 3 minus x now we have to square it let's see so what are we going to have let's plug in the values 9 times 10 raised to the power negative or to the power 9 then we have 1 times 10 raised to the power negative 6 again we have 5 times 10 to the power negative 6 everything divided by 3 minus x then we square it what are we going to have the value now since this is going to be repelled at the same time so this is going to go in this direction so it's going to be positive okay so we're going to have 9 times 9 exponent 9 times 1 exponent neg 6 times 5 exponent neg 6 so on top there I'm getting I'm getting 0 0.0045 that's what I'm getting on top there okay so let's redo it we are saying we have 5 9 point 9.0 exponent 9 times 1 exponent neg 6 times 5 exponent neg 6 so it is 0 0.045 okay so I'm getting 0 0.045 0 0.045 everything divided by 3 minus x then we square it now since it was going toward positive x axis it was being repelled we expect it to be positive okay so what I'm going to do let me put this one here I'm going to say this is going to give me positive 0 0.045 everything divided by 3 minus x I square it now let's get rid of this so we get rid of this now we see what we're going to have we know that for us to find the net force is going to be the net force is going to be equal to the F uh, 21 plus uh, the F 51 let's now see this is 0 we have been told that the net force is 0 has to be equal to this is going to be negative 0 0.018 everything divided by x squared plus we have 0 0.045 everything divided by 3 minus e. this then we square it now I can shift this part to the left hand side so it's going to be 0 0.08 over x squared is equal to 0 0.045 everything divided by this now we can cross multiply okay at this point we can cross multiply what are we going to have we're going to have uh, 3 minus x squared times 0 0.018 has to be equal to um, 0 0.045 times x squared now since I have square both sides squared squared what can I do I can just square both sides even here I square it if I square both sides then this one I'm going to have this meaning I've removed the the the, the, um, the, the squared there which is the, the power 2 then I'm going to say now the square root of 0 0.018 so this is giving me 0 0.134 has to be equal to same applies to this one it's going to be the square root of 0 0.045 this is going to be 0 0.0 0.212x uh, so now this one if I square I, I square root it, it's going to give me x okay Let, let's now get rid of this our goal is to find the value of x okay so we want to find the value of x what are we going to do this is what we're going to do we're going to say um, we can now say 3 times what we have there 3 I'm going to say this 3 times 0 0.134 again x times that one so it's going to be 0 0.134 times 3 so this is giving me 0 0.402 minus 0 0.134 x I'm just doing this time this that's what I'm, I'm getting this okay then this has to be equal to 0 point what 0 0.212 x now our goal is to find the value of x I'll shift this to the right hand side so I'm going to remain with this 
is going to be equal to 0 0.212x plus 0.134x. So we have 0 0.402 is equal to, let's add those 0 0.21, 0 0.212 plus 0 0.13, uh, 13 what? 134. So I'm getting 0 0.346x. Let's divide both sides by 0 0.346, even here by 0 0.346. So what will be the value of x? So x is going to be equal to 0 0.402 divided by 0 0.346. So this is giving me one point. 1.16 1 1.16 meters so that would be the position now so the value of x is going to be what 1 point 1.16 um, so now what we're going to do is um, what would be the value here where well, we have two things here let's not forget okay so it's going to be in between here we're going to say uh, 3 minus for us to find this one, we're going to say 3 minus 1.16, which is going to be 1 point. So here it was 1.84. Then this one was 1.16 meters, even here meters. As simple as that. So that is it for this question.